The materials required are 0.9% bacteriostatic saline, 2.5 ml syringe attached to a 21 gauged green needle, 1 ml syringes attached to 30 gauged yellow needles, 100 units of Botox. Using an alcohol wipe, we remove the cap of the bacteriostatic saline and clean the stopper. We then take a 2.5 ml syringe and a 21 gauge green needle. The cap is removed and inserted into the grey rubber stopper of the bacteriostatic saline. This is turned upside down. We ensure the tip of the needle is immersed in the saline and we can begin to draw up our bacteriostatic saline. We withdraw 2.5 mils of saline. Any air in the syringe is expressed. This is our box of 100 units of Botox. If we look underneath, we can see the expiry date and the lot number. Ensure it is in date before we open. The cap is removed. The rubber stopper is cleaned using an alcohol wipe. We now place the 2.5 mils of bacteriostatic saline into the centre of the rubber stopper. The green needle is inserted. The liquid will automatically be pulled into the vial by the vacuum. We then gently swirl the bottle to ensure even distribution of the Botox. We now remove the tip of the needle from the liquid and we are able to remove the 2.5 ml syringe, leaving the green needle in place. We are now ready to draw up our Botox. To draw up our Botox, a 1 ml syringe is inserted onto the green needle. The vial of Botox is up now placed upside down. We can now begin to slowly draw up our toxin. Any air must be flicked to the surface and expelled at this stage. We can now attach the syringe to a yellow 30 gauge needle. Before we inject, we must ensure the needle is primed. We repeat this for however many areas are desired. 